You've heard it as long as you can remember. Drink lots of water. So to make it easier on yourself, you keep a glass right by your bed to drink from in the evening and morning. But, uh-oh, looks like that could be a big mistake. And here's my list of why it's bad. Number 1. Open to invaders Unless you're drinking from a bottle or a sippy cup, that glass of water is exposed to anything that decides to drop in or accidentally does. In short, it's unsanitary. It could be dust, debris, or even a fly or mosquito that makes its way into your nightly source of hydration. And in your zombified, half-asleep state, I bet you won't even notice that thing floating in there when you take a gulp in the morning. Ew! Number 2. It's a breeding ground Okay, maybe a little dust and insect protein won't do that much harm, although they do carry some nasty diseases. What can present a real threat is bacteria. Sitting water can become a breeding ground for germs. That or the bacteria could be coming from you. Each time you take a sip, you leave a little backwash in the glass. Well, your mouth is full of bacteria, and if they sit in that glass all night, they have all the time in the world to multiply. When you take another drink in the morning, it's anything but refreshing and healthy for you. Number 3. A big healthy glass of… acid? Water that's exposed to air will go through some chemical changes. When you leave it out and open overnight, carbon dioxide, you know, the stuff you produce each time you breathe out, makes its way into the glass. It then reacts with the water and lowers its pH level, making it more acidic. No, it won't be as if you're drinking a glass of straight-up acid. But water with a low pH is more corrosive even to metal pipes. You sure you want that going down your gullet? Hey, I'm sure you've heard this one. Johnny was a chemist's son, but Johnny is no more. For what he thought was H2O, was H2SO4. Now, if you knew that's the chemical name for sulfuric acid, you get 10 points. Number 4. A funky taste If you have tap water in that glass, the chlorine added into it for disinfection will evaporate overnight. That process actually changes the flavor, so when you drink it the next morning, don't be surprised if it tastes a little off. And hey, without that chlorine on patrol, it's that much easier for bacteria to multiply. Number 5. It could disrupt your sleep. With a glass full of water right next to you, you might be tempted to grab it any time in the night. Of course, if you've got liquid going in, then it's going to need to come out. In other words, more bathroom trips throughout the night and disrupted sleep. The immediate result is that you won't feel well rested in the morning or alert throughout the day. But there are serious long-term consequences of poor sleep. Number 6. The dangers of the container if it just so happens that you keep your bedside water not in a glass, but in some plastic bottle or cup, it could contain the chemical bisphenol A or another similar substance used in plastics. Research has shown that exposure to chemicals like BPA can affect the heart and brain. Number 7. But BPA-free bottles aren't the end-all solution. Finding a BPA-free bottle for your bedside water does eliminate the issue of plastic chemicals, but not the bacteria. Bottled water can ward off bacteria for a few days only. And if you're using a metal bottle that warms up quickly, germs can multiply that much more. Number 8. A potential fire hazard? Most bedside nightstands are in front of or near an electric socket. Because, you know, there's probably a small lamp and your phone charger plugged into it. You know that electricity plus water does not equal a good situation. If you happen to swing your arm out or push your pillow into that glass, causing it to spill, all the electronics nearby can spark out.
Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you should give up your diligent water drinking routine, if you have one that is. Do you make sure to drink enough water? Let me know down below, in the comments, yeah. Anyway, just have a fresh glass in the evening and do it at least 2 hours before bed. That way, it won't disrupt your sleep. As for the morning, simply make yourself a fresh new glass. As you're getting your recommended daily hydration, it's also good to decide on cold or warm water. Warm water leads to improved blood circulation. Then again, German scientists found that drinking cold water can raise your metabolism. The idea is that your body must warm up to bring the temperature of the water up. That process of warming up also burns calories. Pick whichever one is more important to you, or change it up and do both. Too much or too little? If you feel thirsty, you're already dehydrated. That's the first sign. Dehydration becomes life-threatening if you lose more than 10% of your body water. And don't forget, 60% of your body is water. You lose hydration all day and night, even when you're sleeping and breathing. That's why your body needs constant replenishment in the form of 8 glasses a day. Then again, if you go beyond the amount of hydration your body needs, you risk getting water intoxication, which can also be life-threatening. Indeed, staying hydrated is a delicate balance, but when you get the right amount, it does wonders for your body. A good thorough cleansing Without you knowing it and with almost no effort except drinking water, your intake will cleanse your body of unwanted toxins. Water works to flush out all that nasty stuff via your kidneys. A better complexion Don't forget that your skin is also an organ, your body's biggest in fact. That detoxification process through water will also clean your skin. So that means fewer blemishes and skin inflammation. Not to mention, hydrated skin looks more youthful. If you drink enough water, your complexion will look more radiant and you'll see fewer fine lines, puffiness, and dark circles. Weight loss More often than not, people mistake thirst for hunger. They might feel like they need to grab a bite to eat when, really, their body is craving hydration. Secondly, drinking a glass of water, especially before a meal, can help you eat less. Your stomach will feel full after that H2O, so it'll send a message to your brain that it can't fit much food. You take in fewer calories, and the number on the scale will show it. Fresher breath Water helps wash away leftover food particles and bacteria in your mouth. Those two things are what cause bad breath. Your teeth will be happy about that as well! Woohoo! Without those food particles and bacteria sticking to your enamel, cavities won't be such a threat. Pain relief Dehydration can cause muscle cramps. The answer? Well, it's obvious by now. If you often get charley horses or muscle spasms, your body is crying out for some water. But besides muscle health, water also helps relieve joint pain. It is a form of inflammation, after all. A better mood A 2014 study found that drinking water affects your mood. When those with low intake increased their water consumption, the increase in positive emotion and calmness was evident. Nutrient absorption you can have the best diet in the world, you can get all your nutrients and minerals, and you're diligent about hitting those daily recommended values. But without water, your body will struggle to absorb that good stuff. Brain health Hydration is a basic need for our brain to function. In fact, research shows that dehydration may lead to impaired thinking and reasoning. Once dehydrated, your brain swells and this impacts even the most ordinary daily tasks. Remember, 75% of your brain mass is water. It needs constant replenishment. Improved digestive health You ever heard that your body needs fiber to maintain healthy digestion and regularity? Again, without water, that won't do you much good. Water mixes with that fiber to carry solid waste out of your system. And don't forget that your saliva is made up of water along with enzymes. Saliva is the first stage of the digestive process. With a dry mouth and a dry system in general, 
the rest of your body will struggle to break food down. Your kidneys If there's one system that's going to benefit a lot from drinking plenty of water, it's got to be your kidneys and urinary tract. Your kidneys help carry waste out of your body, we've already established that. If they don't get enough water flushing through them, kidney stones can develop. Besides that, if you urinate often, which drinking water will cause you to do, then it washes bacteria out of your urinary tract, a place that's prone to infections for many people. Bottom line, here's the formula. H2O times 8 ounces equals PP. Hey, I didn't say it was a math formula. You know what? If you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here's some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click on the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life.